Hello and welcome back to On My Bookshelf. In this episode, I'm going to be looking at We May As Well Dance by Valda Bailey and published by Kozu Books. This is We May As Well Dance by Valda Bailey. Valda is a photographer and visual artist living in Sussex in the UK. Art and photography has been part of her life since the age of 13, and this book is a collection of her abstract and impressionistic images that she started back in the spring of 2020 when the pandemic started. This book is published by Koza Books, who have a history of producing high quality photography books from a diverse range of photographers. Many of these books sit in my bookshelf there behind me. We May As Well Dance is a hardcover book with a tipped in cover image. It measures 300mm by 225mm and consists of 136 pages of Fedragoni satin paper. The title of the book, We May As Well Dance, is a Japanese proverb. We are fools whether we dance or not, so we may as well dance. The book comprises of Valda's photographs which could be described as abstract and impressionistic in style. They more closely represent paintings than photographs. They provide a view on how Valda interprets the scene rather than a true representation of it. This book is also segmented by poetry or with text written by Valda. Each image is also titled. Valda hints that the titles of the images come from the misappropriation of lyrics or snippets of poems. As a person that struggles to name their images, this is something I might have to adopt myself. So is this a book for your bookshelf? Well, if this style of photography appeals to you, and I'm certain that you will probably already follow Valda's work, in which case I'm sure this book will not disappoint. If this style of photography isn't something you are familiar with, then I suspect you might be in the same boat as me. My feelings in this book are difficult to articulate. It's not that I doubt the quality of the imagery, and I certainly don't question the quality of the printing and the book itself, but this style of photography is a huge departure from what I might normally sit down to look at. I've said before on other episodes of On My Bookshelf, and particularly in this series, I do like to look at books from all genres of photography and styles of landscape photography. Some of the books I've looked at in this series have really pushed that idea, but in most circumstances, regardless of the style, I could relate to the photographs and find elements that I could identify with. We May As Well Dance takes that to a whole new level. The images in this book are more like pieces of art than what I might personally consider a photograph. However, I do appreciate that these are still photographs. It just happens that Valda very skillfully uses her camera in a different but very effective way. So what am I trying to say? Well, I'm not sure. I clearly lack the artistic language to understand and fully appreciate this book. Saying that though, while I have found it challenging to find the words to describe this book, I still have thoroughly enjoyed sitting down and spending time with it. It's a bit like visiting an art gallery. I might not know much about the great painters of the world, but that doesn't mean I can't appreciate the art. If you'd like to pick up a copy of We May As Well Dance, you can do so directly from Kozu Books. There's a link in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this episode of On My Bookshelf. And if you did, and you don't want to miss the next episode, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. But if you can't wait till then, I'm popping up the On My Bookshelf playlist. With nearly 40 episodes, there's sure to be a book there to inspire your photography. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you again soon.